Premiership Power Rankings after 10 rounds. One of the neighbours is like sweeping the driveway or something. But anyway, we'll get this done. Um, because yeah, my missus is off with my daughter in the other room. Reading her a book. So let's, uh, let's see how the Power Rankings rank up after 10 rounds. This will be the last one of these for a wee while as we head into the European Games. But yeah, should be a bit of fun. Uh, bath, goodness me. Bath, bath, bath. Still last, last, last. None from nine. It's another loss. I don't know what else to say. They got a bit of a hiding. Away from home. Yep. I feel for Bath, man. I mean, they've got freaking Leinster, I think, in the old um, Champions Cup, don't they? Goodness me. It's going to go from bad to worse. But anyway, Bath, they're in 13th. Uh, Wasps. I've got here in... Uh, in 12th, it's always hard to get five teams on that line, but uh, maybe actually this is smaller handwriting. Down one spot. It was a close away loss to Worcester, but it was a loss nonetheless. Um, I think they've won one of their last six. So their recent record is pretty poor. I know they've had injuries throughout some of these games, but they're just not getting the results. So the, the spot kind of matches the results. Uh, Bristol are uh, dropping like a brick once more. They kind of flattered to deceive a bit with a couple of wins um, on the trot. But those are looking like ancient history at this point. Because they've gone from two wins and straight back to two losses. So all that kind of good work is undone. Uh, away loss to Gloucester. Two losses in a row. They're three and six. Back to losing ways, essentially. Uh, Worcester, though, I got these guys up to entertaining uh, game at the weekend. It was a win. Very close, but some good tries. Uh, really fun game to watch. I kind of wish I'd watched uh, that game against um, Wasps in full, but um, that's just kind of the way the broadcast schedule worked out. So, yeah. Good win, what can I say? They're up two spots, kind of good reward. Uh, Sale are actually up one. They didn't lose because they were on the buy. So, yeah, that's just kind of the way that works out sometimes. Sometimes having the buy is, is better than having a loss. That's the bottom row. Uh, Newcastle are here in eighth. They are down one place from last week. And it was a bit of a disappointing loss for them. Uh, what's their record? It's one draw, four wins, four losses. So it kind of makes sense that they are where they are, I think, because of the more recent results. It's only one win in the last five. So they started a wee bit stronger and falling off the pace a wee bit. I think the highest I had them might have been fourth. But yeah, it's seemingly not going that well. And um, yeah, away to London Irish, they, they got a bit of a proper hiding, didn't they? Um, Interestingly, I got Quinns here in seventh because they are, I mean, I know they've played Leicester away and Leicester haven't lost a bloody game yet, but yeah, one win in their last four, three losses. They're just dropping. I mean, that's just, I think to be expected down one spot, it's tough to go away to Leicester. I think they're fourth on the overall log, but those points were accumulated more recently. So in terms of the power rankings as being more of a current form guide, that's where uh, that's where Quinns are at. Whereas uh, London Irish, on the other hand, have kind of gone from strength to strength. They're actually looking, uh, they're pretty decent. Their record is a weird one. Three wins, four losses, and three draws, but they've only had one loss in their last five. So I think that's kind of reflected by the power rankings as well. So good home win at Newcastle. Uh, Northampton, they are in fifth. They are the same. And it's kind of, it's kind of a, a rough one that they haven't gone up, but the teams immediately above them also won. So they did have two losses, which saw them drop. Then they've balanced that out with two wins. So kind of the opposite as what's happened with Bristol. Um, so, yeah, I mean, they won against Bath, which at the moment seems like everybody's doing that. But, yeah, they still they still did it pretty comfortably in the end. So they're, they're not far behind uh, this team which is Gloucester, who are the same. Uh, very encouraging win for them. I thought maybe that the game they played uh, was uh, a potential bit of a banana skin one, but they got their win against Bristol um, you know, pretty comfortably in the end. So good win. Um, 
one loss in their last, what is it, eight? Sixth on the log. Like, I know there's probably be a buy and maybe a draw in there because they are, what, five wins, three losses, and a draw? But still, pretty good stuff. And every time they play at home, their crowd's very vocal. Uh, Exeter, I've got them the same. They are chasing down uh, Saracens, who they beat at the weekend, but they haven't got enough to catch them on the old power rankings. They are fifth overall. But it's a bit of a statement win for them um, over Saracen's team who hadn't really looked like dropping many games. So, um, yeah, they've won three of their last four. I think in, in recent terms, they are, they are one of the strongest teams in the Premiership. Saracen's still retained their second spot. Exit has not done enough to knock them off that spot. Um, I mean, despite that loss, there's still six wins, two losses, and a draw. So... That's two fewer losses than Exeter have had, so maybe that's kind of part of it. Um, obviously, we're looking at more recent stuff, but I think Saracen's only loss prior to that game was was kind of towards the start of the season against Leicester, so uh, even that's not weighted too highly, but it is Leicester who are far and away the top team on the power rankings, far and away the top team on the log. What else can you say, man? Nine from nine. They beat Harlequins, which was another one that's maybe a potential bit of a banana skin it wasn't an emphatic victory in terms of the scoreline but it was a good victory um unbeaten what else can you say so there you go power rankings that's how we sit going into the break you guys will have to let me know your thoughts which teams have been kind of hard done by some of them really do fit their spots on the log like obviously Leicester and Bath there's kind of no arguments there but uh Exeter I've got higher because the log the table has got them in fifth um Harlequins like I mentioned are in fourth but I've got them in seventh. Um, and some of them are the same, like Newcastle's pretty much the same. Um, Gloucester, I think, are sixth on the table, but I've got them in fourth. So, yeah. Anyway, you guys have any thoughts? And we will enjoy some European rugby before getting back into the Premiership in a few weeks. Anyway, you guys take care, and I'll talk to you again soon. See you later.